All right. I rebooted both the router and my streaming system. So now I'm officially out of, out of things I can do. This is now uh, 2100 FCLK on all auto timings. Now, oh, Ginger, I'm not on. Uh, I'm not on uh, 4G. I'm on NBN, but <laughs> clearly on really crappy NBN. Looks like it might actually pass. Okay, uh, so more or less back to where we were here. Let's go back to 2200 FCLK. If you can't tighten the RAM anyway, may as well check for that scaling. Wasn't there a way? Okay, let's just check that. I thought there was a way of um, enforcing the FCLK to, to memory ratio, but obviously not. What do you mean about bad publicity, Dino? Bad publicity about the CEO change?
It's an ugly ass logo there. Kinda still see what's going on there. Alright, so I hate the new order of benchmarks. Just to put it out there. So frequency 5.8, not gonna get that. Um Cinebench 15. What cooling method do I re uh ooh? That might have to be our next one. Moin, the gates. All uh, right, so we're obviously at the point of <laughs> diminishing returns here. Last time I was even wiggling my um, my cursor, and I still got a better score. So yeah. Uh, I don't need the data file. I just want to keep the cap. All right, let's see what happens when um, I just do like a C16. Just, just, literally just set the cast latency. Got a lot of t t time to kill. Yeah, yeah, I heard about the situation in Germany. I do have some relatives over there, so I'm informed. Um, but at least the vaccine is being rolled out now. 32 casts. What the hell? Oh, Switzerland, yeah. Possibly even a worse situation than Germany. So we've got our green post slide, that's always nice. Maybe we have to do something like 16, 18, 18 or something like that. So that trying up nicely. How's the vaccine situation in Switzerland? Is it close? I know here in Australia they're <laughs> taking their sweet ass time. Okay, that's a hang. Right, so let's go with 18, 18, 18. Yeah, I know that feeling of being just sick of hearing about this news. Yeah, I've got a green light, so... I'm calling it, this is going to be the fastest run. This is going to be a 15 FPS run. Another lockdown. <laughs> it's like Rambo movies. <laughs> I keep coming and they get worse every time. Okay, that trained up correctly. It's running. Um, okay, so let's go back. Oof.
Interesting. I, I'll I'll try a little little fiddle with um with sock, but it doesn't seem all that promising. So one point two two five. Let's go to one point two five. Ah, I mean, may as well try. I don't want to jinx it, but the stream seems to be more stable than it's been before. I do feel a bit warm, the sticks. Should be reflected in Turbo V. So this board has Turbo V, which is such a relief, to be honest. Um, a lot of the lower end boards don't have proper InOS overclocking. They just have Ryzen Master. And uh, on these Ryzen Pros, Ryzen Master doesn't work. So then you really need something like Turbo V. It doesn't have everything unlocked. Uh, it doesn't seem to have iGPU clocks in there. So that requires a reboot. That's a little bit um, of a shame. Sock seems to actually have helped. This is such a good bench. I hope they never, never re remove it from the rankings. Hmm. It almost looked like a hang. Okay, let's let's look for other targets. Um, okay, so physics I don't care about. Seven zip I don't care about. Eleven point five. Just have to be this Estonian. <laughs> Estonian overclocking, it's the new thing in 2021. Let's see, oh, 3800 RAM. That is not try hard enough. Okay, so Simbench 11.5, Simbench 15, 20 IS, even though I'm not, not a massive fan of that, that bench, because all you do is just render a couch you actually render a rendering of a couch, which makes it all the more just impressively pathetic. Ooh, 2266 C14. That's that's spicy. I do actually have a tomahawk here. Um, so that is barely even fucking faster. <laughs> I mean, it's faster than the previous 2200 run, but... Okay, I should still make a note of it. Let's see what a, a safe overclock is on the core. So, um, 1.45. And forty three five. Hopefully, the um, thermals don't get out of control. All right, that seems reasonable. It is an A core, after all, to be fair. Thank you. 
So what's the okay? So the Geekbench multi was the try hard result. Not sure if I'm gonna bother with that today. Um, Hvec, who cares? Oh, we've got to take W Prime and Super Pi with Benchmate. I got an eight minute Super Pi run. Uh, so OGS ran the new new benches for some. Ooh, Castle Peak on LN2 for superposition. I don't know about that. I didn't see any core scaling. Okay, maybe we need to give the memory a little bit more. I ran in super, super position on the HT7990 for Country Cup and I didn't see any core scaling so and then 232 core whatever that is that's just not sure about it let's give it a little bit more It is, it is the 32 core, isn't it? The 64 core. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, let's double check, but so here we've got Vermeer and 2595 and it's 500-ish, 600-ish points away from this which is more core clock yeah it doesn't it doesn't scale what is he let's be let's be that let's be that spoil sport Anyway, 4K is a tough bench to, to pass. Maybe I'll just go on to 1080p because there's no results on this. Ah, uh, he was running Time Spy Extreme at the same time. Well, that makes sense. Does Time... Still disabling SMT though. I thought Time Spy ex Extreme scaled enough. Hi, Palzen. So is, is there really no 4K result? No. Okay. Just got to make sure I I um I actually save a good good result. Chispy is at it again. <laughs> All the try hard Y Cruncher scores are coming out of the woodwork. Does this Ovis Hardware Labs guy now own all of the PC Mark Express scores or something? He's been having a nice little bench session there. So there's, yeah, um, 6448. So every score, every Threadripper score 
20 doesn't exist, then doesn't have the scale like X. Ooh, that's slow though. It's not really not much scaling with anything here, is there? I'll try overkill as well. Uh, let's go to V. Let's try a nice little 4500 overclock. Yeah, so this guy or this this group account has all the Threadripper scores, skipping Skylark X, but has um, the AM4 results. Actually, all four of them, as we have a hang. All right, 1.5 V core, why not? It's probably as far as I'm prepared to go, though. We'll pro we'll <laughs> I don't think we're very far away from negative scaling, to be honest. You hate Outlook. Um, well, my company used to use Lotus Notes, and that's an even worse email client. I thought Outlook was kind of all right. It can be slow, but oh, this seems to be running. One overcurl after this, and then 1080p. I've been forever. Um, I've actually been forever uh, hunting this goddamn. Uh, 500 gold cups achievement so I'm at 460 and I've been at 460 something for so long because it actually recalculates as you lose gold cups so ideally I'd like to get like 40 gold cups in one session <laughs> just so I can get this thing it ain't simple I am simple yeah that um that sums it up well, but in other news, <laughs> I am getting closer to, to a thousand cups overall, so that's something. Ah, oh, what's the... So, supposedly it's 24 right now, so we've got 15 FPS. Hype train. <laughs> so it is still scaling. So it's probably worthwhile finding the the absolute max CPU core. Even though this is already pretty good, to be honest. Let's go 100, 100 more. What's, what's 100 megahertz between friends? So, um, story time, <laughs> as my system reboots. Um, okay, I, sh I'll, I shall just do a, a real-time run and that's it. Uh, sorry, uh, um, an overkill run. If we can get it out. Uh, 
Alright, turbo V, apply multi, apply volts, more volts, more score. Okay, right, let's go very high and see where that, that takes us. Is it stuck already? Um, I was trying to do overkill, for God's sake. All right, let's watch out for desync. So yeah, story time. Um, I was just uh, on a on a listen, watch through of all the James Bonds. Um, is there what is it called? Um, list maker or something? What was it called? Ranker? Ranker? Top ten? No, what was it? What's that uh, website that everyone uses to make make lists of things? Was it called just list maker, list ranker? No, not that. Tier maker. That's what it's called. So can I look for? Um, Surely there's one. That's not, that's not all of them though. Yeah, there's only like seven of them. All 24. Okay, so I've only watched up till the man with the golden gun. Is there a tooltip? What's this? Damn it, I won't be able to see. <laughs> okay, this I haven't watched. You Only Live Twice was quite good, actually. Uh, Diamonds Are Forever, good as well. Skyfall, I haven't watched. Well, I haven't rewatched. What the hell is this one? Is this Goldfinger? Where's Goldfinger? This is so hard. This is Goldfinger. Um, amazing. Live and Let Die, I thought it was quite good. What's this? Oh, that's the T Timothy Dalton one. I haven't rewatched that yet. This is the worst list thing ever. <laughs> uh, oh, the one with... Um, uh, that's the man with the golden gun. I thought that was really average. Can I full screen this crap? This one I haven't watched. I don't know what that one is, but I don't think I've watched it. Like, how can you possibly see this? Hold on. There must be there must be another list that's better. No. Okay, so this is all the James Bonds. Okay, I think that's a ma that's that's manageable, manageable. So the one I liked the least was Thunderball. I think this is Thunderball. No, Diamonds Are Forever. Um, this one's Thunderball. So Doctor Noel was solid. Um, Goldfinger was amazing. From Russia was with Love was just okay. Look out! Look down! I must be you only lived no this is you only lived twice even amongst says so from russia with love oh this is dr no okay so this might be controversial but i'm ranking the two first um bond movies the la no it's not dr no <laughs> is that supposed to be diamonds are forever no this is diamonds for what i give up i give up
All right, let's check on this crop. So, okay, so we got a little bit of a boost out of it. I think that's, I think we've smashed that. Let's see how we compare to this other bozo in 1080p. Did he run um, overkill actually? Ooh, 70 FPS. It's pretty hardcore. No overkill, just normal. Okay, let's let's see how we do in a like for like comparison. So we're looking for for seventy FPS. I don't know, man. This could be quite rough. Uh, okay. I can see it. Hmm. Well, there's our baseline. <laughs> now let's see if we can gain anything with overkill. We probably can. So six to three point seven. Uh, of course, you can't see the window. It's kind of starting off at the same FPS as it did without overkill. So now we're crossing the sixty FPS threshold. It'll gain at least three or four FPS in the credits at the end. So we're at about 64. All right, that gave us a tiny bit. Uh, as I'd like to say in overclocking, it's all in the sub timings. <laughs> um, let's see, I mean, we can probably bump like 50 megahertz or something on the core oops just about see it okay that was a stronger start but it also died so there we go I mean, maybe we can pass 1080p where we couldn't pass 4K, so let's save the profile just to have something to fall back to and go a little bit tighter. Although I think the last time I tried this, I, I was having boot issues rather than benchmark issues. So I'm not sure how much it's going to help. You know, that looks ominous. Yeah, okay. So this guy was at 2133, so let's just match timings. Let's literally just match timing. So here's what we're trying to match. So 34 RAS and 56 TRC. Uh, 
Well, there won't be a live stream 97.75, so that's good. <laughs> but otherwise, it's been a bit of a mixed bag so far. Okay, so that's that boots. Yeah, well, I don't know why it initialized the window over there, but that's helpful. Looking better, still not good enough, but it's looking better. So our last score was a 65, now we've got a 67. So yeah, getting there. Um, still quite a bit away though. I'll make a new profile called 1080p. Actually, where's all the power saving options and things? Okay, um, I mean, let's go 450. It's a reasonable <laughs> improvement in performance if it posts. It does appear to be posting. I wonder how this board will do with um, 5000 series, like cold, proper, like full pot temps and stuff, because I have a impact here at the moment, but the, there really is no buy support for 5000 series on impact. So I keep forgetting to bake the clocks into the bias profile. Doesn't seem very stable, does it?
red light, white light, orange or well green. I think it's not forcing the FCLK. Okay, let's just have one more look through everything here. It's not on the DRAM. Maybe it was the the CAS. Even though it's not showing in Windows, I, I assume the CAS is still applying properly. That looks better. Yeah. Okay, let's let's leave the refies alone and cast alone. Okay, let's just see what happens with T4 that low. Seems to be posting. I think I had it up around 22 for the iGPU benching but of course that's lighter and it's also cold and also at a higher Um, higher FC, okay. Ah, good old, old auto recovery. 
It's never recovered a thing, has it? Haven't gotten this far in a while. Are you excited? <laughs> Insta fail. Let's go thirty two four. Something's running <laughs> and it looks reasonably fast. Oh, hold on, it looks really slow, doesn't it? Oh no, we're over 60. For a second there, I was looking at the percentage rather than the FPS. Uh, that's approaching 70 now. Somehow it slowed down at the end. The hell? Ooh, that's that's really close now. Zero point seven FPS left to to conquer. Maybe I need to just throw in a, a cheeky twenty five megahertz more. Oh no, you can't see it. Well, you can see one instance. It really doesn't want to go a single bloody megahertz over 45x, doesn't it? Does it? All right, what else can we pull in a bit easily? WR, okay, let's go from 26 to 20. Sorry, from 26 to 20. Surely that's possible. This guy even had MicroTorrent installed and still beat me. <laughs> we need to restore our honor here. 
I don't know why I'm opening ZPU-Z, it's not going to show up there anyway. Should um should be an installing Zen timings or something. And now the overkill window is on the other side. Oh, for God's sake. So we were coming from 22. So 24, let's split the difference and go 22. We can always do reruns. But I would have thought on an Aces board you wouldn't get ridiculously loose auto timings. No, the second instance died. That happens sometimes. Looks like we need to keep that one on 24. Let's be cheeky and try this. Is it going to post? That's a post. Seems a bit weird to me how all the tertiaries refuse to tighten up, but like <laughs> the primaries do have almost an easier time of being tightened up. Come on. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, I'm finally going to get arrested. Okay, let's try the cheapest trick in a book. <laughs> they find the skeletons. No, they're hidden very well. No worries there. Oh, that looks suspiciously like a hang, but... All right. 
is it even if it's going to pass it is it even going to score well this this uh combination of crap Maybe the MSI B550 board is just more efficient than X265. Yeah, second, second instance is dead. I watched Chil Children of Men the other day as well. That was quite nice to finally watch that. Let's try normal. Good movie. Uh, the second instance keeps dying. Okay, let's try real time again. <laughs> Oops. Going back to the settings I had before, putting out another run, seeing if it's going somewhat the same, and then going for cheap tricks like BCLK. Let's try the single instance again. Because that looked like it was kind of fun running quite fast. Nah, no comparison. All right, overkill it is then. Those instances look really in sync, so that's a good start. Oh no, the second one's falling behind. Catch up, buddy. <laughs> that's slow. I didn't even change anything. I 
All right. Quarter of a BCLK. Let's see what happens. Not sure if that's fast or slow. It's got some potential. I mean, it's faster than the previous run, but... So this is basically the frequency that it wouldn't do via multiplier. So I'm curious to see if there's some sort of weird lock where you can't go above 45 multi. Second instance is faster. So 67 was our last run. 67, yeah, I mean, could keep going until it stops scaling, I suppose. Let's do a half BCLK. Now, all right, let's go back to 1T in case that really does apply and it really did make two FPS difference. A green screen. Do you not like my room? I'm offended. Whoops. Man, this is buggy. Maybe it was the priority that was giving all the difficulties. All right, we want we want at least thirty three FPS mid run, and we're not getting it. I really put myself through installing Benchmate this this late this late into a stream 
Okay, let's give it one, literally just one try. It's so big now, it's like 500 megahertz, megabytes. It's insane. What this, did this guy do? Maybe was hitting some sort of weird power limit or something. All right, quick go at Cinebench 15. 2259 is the target. Um, GPU Pi, W Prime, Super Pi, 7 SIP, fuck off, 7 15, why is that not ticked, R2023, fuck off, tools, fuck off, 11.5 of course, why wouldn't it install that, that's a legendary bench. Eleven point five takes a long time, doesn't it? <laughs> it's got all these little files. Sorry to offend. <laughs> oh no, I should have unticked twenty. Yeah, I didn't update my bot today. I was actually having beer earlier, but installation finished. Next. Launch. All right. Uh, let's just give it a go away. Two, two, five, nine is the target. Two two three nine. Uh, okay, let's launch it in. Hi. And off screen. Ah. <laughs> uh. Sensible Nightbot telling me it's too early. Two two five seven, <laughs> for God's sake! Uh, I'm really gonna have to earn this, am not I? Um, okay, so let's let's save it. Okay, I mean, whatever. Uh, so now what we do is we bump up BCLK a little bit more. Not sure about that, it's probably dodgy. Hopefully it'll, yeah. Um, all right, let's load up <laughs> Cinebench 15 perf bias in bias. God, I haven't used this since Ryzen second gen launch, probably. 
Let's go with gentle first. I like gentle in all walks of life. I like gentle. <laughs> all right. I suppose I could just rerun, but it's a bit lame. Work for it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I told someone too. What the hell? Uh, I hadn't once looked at my chiller temp, so that was a 22. I set it to 20, 20 now. Any other funky business going on with this sub? There's no benchmate. <laughs> I could just report it and win that way. Um, all cores, all threads. Synchronous. Ooh, we got a score and it's good. All right, that saves me fucking around with it more. Two two seven five. All right, moving swiftly onwards, let's do a seven bench um, 11.5. Yeah, whatever. So I think there's no score, or there's just a bench made ranked one. Ooh, uh, no, not single thread. <laughs> so there's a with bench made, that's a 24.17. Well, that Estonian guy again. 1900 on core okay so that's a good score we're racking up the the goals now <laughs> this is a, i mean i can't decide if this is cool or lame i haven't done a gold cup hunt <laughs> in a long 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 time All right, um, or 20, is that going to run forever? Some American has it. Scoops, Scoops Row, wasn't he in chat earlier? It's a small world. No, that was, yeah, Scoops Row was in chat earlier. <laughs> okay, Scoops Row, we're about to um, beat your results. You ready? <laughs> okay. Got a launch launcher executable. Should have installed Cinebench 2020, um, 2003 as well. This will take a while. So, what was Scoops for running? Oops. Let's try normal priority.
So impact. Okay. That's not running. Um, what other lame thing can we run? Uh, wow, no one's run any of the GPU pies. Wow, if only I knew what an actual, like, legit um, good setting is for this. Oh, I don't even have runtimes installed. Okay. W prime it is then. Does it automatically, ooh, it sets a thread count, fancy shit. Um, so that someone sub that, someone has an 8.9, what? No, someone, someone has a 2.664, okay. So that is an Insta Gold. Sweet. I'm almost motivated to switch over to the iGPU and do some iGPU benching, but that would probably be the death of me. <laughs> All right, and 1024M, we're trying to beat a 106. So one minute and six is 66 seconds, so 6.6, percenter, or a 12 point something, 20 percenter. Oh, I think we're behind. Now let's do a rerun. Actually, I think we're sort of on pace. Now we need to finish at 66.8. Ooh. It was a close call, but there's that. So all of the regular 2D benches are doing fine. Okay, let's see what we have in terms of scores. Two Cine benches, two W primes. Now let's launch my all time favorite bench, which has been bastardized. Okay, let's let, let's let's get real. Um, thread two. So PyFast, is there a PyFast? What was that? Something's not working right. <laughs> okay, L let's go for um, Super Pi. So our Super Pi tar target is an 8.92. Let's rerun. So what were this guy's loops? He had a loop 10 of, I hate these 4K displays. Loop 10 of 4.589, 4.65, okay.
Not sure we're gonna get there. Uh, I'd be curious about Y Crunch. What's even ranked these days anymore? I suppose I should do a uh, 1B. The hell? Coefficient too large. Um, all right, let's let's get our GPU Pi on. I reckon almost any OpenCL will do, so let's see. Okay, obviously not that one. All right, actually what I'll finish off on is just a validation. I'm curious to see what I can set versus what I can bench because it's weird how every bench seems to just end at 45. Okay. That'll be it. All right. It's been a bit of a struggle, but less of a struggle than Monday night. So we're getting there. Um, that was live stream 97.5. And hopefully in the, in the next two and a half live streams, we can get everything back working again for a monstrous like 12 hour live stream 100. But um, yeah, thanks for watching and like, share, subscribe and all the good stuff. Until next time.